the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hey there, Ayla. Welcome back to the channel for another fun and fact-filled video. We're glad to have your company and can't wait to share some great facts and figures with you today. As we're sure you know by now, Ayla has one goal in mind, and that is to make sure that our viewers are equipped with the information about a high-flying elite member of society. We are the number one stop on YouTube for all the products, places, and people that every aspiring millionaire and billionaire should know about. And today, we've got a top 10 list that will satisfy all you petrol heads out there. If there's one thing that the super rich like to spend their money on, it's luxury vehicles. And whilst some prefer the four-wheeled variety, others see motorcycles as the epitome of wealth. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram Make no mistake, however, the 10 sensational models we have to show you are far from ordinary. Let's rev that throttle and take a look at the 10 most expensive motorcycles in the world. Number 10. The 1910 Winchester HP6, sold for $580,000. As technology developed at a rapid pace throughout the 20th century, many manufacturers diversified. A lot of weapons manufacturers, who, for example, had provided armaments and equipment for the two world wars and other major conflicts in the first half of the century, moved out of arms and into other mechanical and engineering manufacturing. Some just flirted with new ideas, like the Winchester Repeating Arms Company, the gun makers, who built just 200 motorcycles. Only two are known to exist today, and one was sold by World wide auctions in 2013. The buyer was a gun enthusiast who remains anonymous. Number 9. Harley-Davidson Strap Tank – Sold for $715,000 Harley-Davidson has a long and proud record and in its time, this motorcycle company has produced some legendary bikes. When the buyer paid $715,000 for a strap tank at Meekum's auctions in March of 2005, they purchased a piece of history. The strap tank was the first model to be given the Harley-Davidson marquee, and the serial number and engine number of 2037 indicate that this was the company's 37th motorcycle and was built in 1907. This makes it the 94th bike to leave the Harley-Davidson production line. Number 8. The 1915 Cyclone Board Track Racer – Sold for $852,500 Sometimes it's not power or prestige that puts value to an item. Sometimes it's the rarity that makes the value, and that's the case with the 1915 Cyclone Board Track Racer. Some reports say that only 12 remain today, while others claim 6. It is known that around 300 of the bikes were built by Jorn's Motor Manufacturing Company of St. Paul, Minnesota, between 1913 and 1915, and the bikes were the most technologically advanced of their day. There was additional kudos knowing that the particular bike being sold at auction in 2008 was owned by motorbike loving actor and collector Steve McQueen. This was the highest price paid for a bike at auction until number 7 on our list. Number 7. Easy Rider Harley Davidson – Sold for $1.35 million can you believe it? We've cracked seven figures and we're not even at the top five yet. But what is even more amazing about the price for this motorbike is that it may not even be the authentic model. Easy Rider was an iconic movie, probably the first seminal road movie, and featured customized hand-built bikes based on the Harley-Davidson Chopper. The bike in question that sold for $1.35 million at auction in California is claimed to be the Captain America bike ridden by Peter Fonda. Although the seller originally purchased the bike from Dan Haggerty, a bit part actor in the film who restored the bike, it is known that Haggerty has claimed authenticity for two bikes as being the Captain America model. The petrol tank carries Peter Fonda's signature, but even he has said that he's not 100% certain it is the bike he rode. Despite the cloudy provenance, the undisclosed buyer was happy to pay in excess of $1.3 million for the bike. Number 6. Harley-Davidson Cosmic Starship – Sold for $1.5 million the number 6 position goes to the Harley-Davidson Cosmic Starship. This classic bike was hand-painted by Jack Armstrong, an artist whose paintings tend to go for between $300,000 and $3 million, and it's this superficial fact that instantly adds an insane value to the Harley. More a piece of one-of-a-kind art than a true superbike, the Cosmic Starship doesn't appear to boast some of the same extraordinary mechanical credentials as many of the other cycles. 
But with the iconic American manufacturer teaming up with a similarly iconic American artist, you have a unique slice of pure Americana that is worth $1.5 million. Now before we dive into the top 5 most expensive motorcycles, why not take a second to learn about another form of transport that is as luxury as it gets, the 10 most expensive cars in the world. You can watch our dedicated video by clicking in the top right corner. Number 5. The Yamaha BMS Selling Price – $3 million Heading up the top 5 is the stunning Yamaha BMS, a motorcycle unlike anything you might have ever seen before. Sure, the bike has a 1,700 V-twin engine that's powerful, but it's not groundbreaking. No, no, the true value of this motorcycle is in its incredible design. With a seat upholstered in red velvet and much of the rest of the bike being coated in 24 karat gold and a unique, audacious print, this Yamaha certainly isn't one for the more demure and subtle enthusiasts out there. As of 2013, the Yamaha BMS is the only gold-plated chopper that has been cleared as legal for the road, and for a total cost of $3 million, we can't think of a better way to physically ride your money around town. Number 4. Hildebrandt and Wolfmüller, Valued at $3.5 million it's time to take a look at the past now for the number 4 motorcycle on our list, with the Hildebrandt and Wolfmüller, a bike that was only manufactured for a short period between 1894 and 1897. Why is this old model so revered, you ask? Simply for the fact that it was the first motorcycle ever produced. With a top speed of 28 miles per hour, it's neither fast nor heavy, but simply for its place in history, any version of the motorcycle that still exists in good condition today is valued extremely high by experts and collectors. With a value of $3.5 million, many of the remaining existing versions of the Hildebrand and Wolfmüller are in museums across the world from Germany to England to the USA and Indonesia. Number 3. Ecos Spirit Selling Price – $3.6 million If you're looking to spend $3.6 million on a sensational Ecos Spirit motorcycle, you're going to need to show more than just your money to the manufacturers. The possession of one of these incredible bikes requires any potential buyer to travel to the Ecos headquarters to take a two-week test that determines whether you're competent enough to become an owner. The bike itself is the stunning result of a collaboration between three British and American engineers who utilized the design ideas behind Formula One cars. Only 10 models were ever produced in what was called the Titanium series, and the exclusivity meant that each unit commanded a fee of $3.6 million. With a top speed of 230 miles per hour, that's around $15,000 per mile of speed. Number 2 the 1949 E90 AJS Porcupine, valued at $7 million. Just missing out on the top spot is the 1949 E90 AJS Porcupine, a model of which only four versions were ever produced. It was this bike that helped Les Graham win a world championship back in 1949, and with the design being changed by AJS only a few years later, this iteration remains one of the rarest motorcycles in the world today. Many experts hold the opinion that the 1949 Porcupine is one of the most beautiful and innovative motorcycles ever designed, and its staggering modern value of $7 million only further serves to prove it. Number 1. Neiman Marcus Limited Edition Fighter Sold for $11 million This is it. The most expensive motorcycle in the world is far and away the Neiman Marcus Limited Edition Fighter, worth $11 million. Though many people know Neiman Marcus as a general department store, they also have a long and storied history with machinery of the very highest order. The motorcycle itself started out with a value of $110,000, so not peanuts, but certainly not enough to bother the top end of our list. However, if there's one thing we know, it's that when it comes to the auction house, market value can be thrown out of the window. When this particular fighter came to auction, there were only 45 models of it in the world, and eager to be a member of that club, one wealthy bidder bought the bike for a whopping $11 million. With a top speed of 190 miles per hour, it's not the fastest bike on the list, but it's beautiful, intricate, almost clockwork-like design was marketed as an evolution of machine, and despite its massive price, it's totally street legal. Can you imagine rolling along on two wheels that cost more than $10 million? That's when you know you've made it. 
So there you have it, the 10 most expensive motorcycles in the world. Are you somebody who prefers two wheels to four? If so, which of the bikes mentioned in our list is your personal favorite? Let us know down in the comments. And how about one final fact as a thank you for sticking with us all the way to the end of the video. You might be wondering why perhaps the most iconic movie motorcycle ever is not on this list. We're talking about the modified 1963 Triumph Bonneville Desert Sled that Steve McQueen rode in The Great Escape. The bike was sold at auction in January 2016 for $103,500, a long way short of the bikes we've featured. Obviously, being an iconic bike isn't everything given that another, not famous bike owned by Steve McQueen sold for $852,500. Thank you for spending some time with us. And if you like the video, then subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications so you'll be the first to know when we release a new video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.